bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. Fellas all right? I am. Can't say about Dave here. I sure wish you'd have cut out on that fellow's Winchester a mite sooner, Miss Annie. I couldn't get a line on him, Dave. Both our horses were going wide open. I say they were. There's no one in the world could fire a shot like that but Annie Oakley. Good heavens. Are you Annie Oakley? She sure as thunder is. Yes, I am. Well, of all things. Arthur, don't just stand there and gawk. Say something. <clears throat> well, uh, <clears throat> I'm Arthur Blodgett. This is my sister, Laura, and my younger brother, Mary Hugh. And this is Lofty Craig, my uncle's deputy. Hey, Mr. Craig, let me see your gun, will you? Ow! Sometimes I could wring his neck. <laughs> I know the feeling. I have a kid brother, too, and just wait till you meet him. I suppose they're all alike. I don't know how to thank you. You've saved our lives and... Oh, nonsense. You'll get used to things like stagecoach hold-ups if you stay around this country long. Are you stopping in Diablo? We plan to make it our home. A Boston syndicate I represent has bought up several banks in the territory. And I plan to make the Diablo Bank the most important in the chain. Show them the money, Art, the development money. Development money, Mary. Don't you call me Mary. He just hates his name. And he's named after one of the largest bankers in the East. His grandfather, Jonathan Merrihue. Grams hates it, too. Once I heard him bawl the daylights out of old Morgan for calling him Mary. Stinky, that's my name. That's what the gang back home calls me, Stinky. Sometimes I could just sit down and cry. <laughs> I don't think it would do any good. Are you really carrying a lot of money? A hundred thousand dollars. I plan to use it in developing the resources around Diablo. Man, you really would have been a prize. Sister Blab. My sister doesn't blab. She does too. She does not. Is that your horse? Well, it isn't yours, is it? I've owned better. There ain't any better ones. I bet you can't even ride. Better than you. Any old woman could ride with a saddle like that. I ride English. That takes nerve. Meaning I haven't got any nerve? You heard me. 
Yeah, I heard you. I got more nerve than you have. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, if you got so much nerve, knock this chip off. Think I'm scared to knock it off? I know you're scared to. Just for that, I will knock it off. Well, why don't you? If you say much more about it, I will knock it off. Much more about it? Much more about it? There, why don't you knock it off? You're daring me to knock it off. I double dare you to knock it off. Then I will knock it off. He started at Maryhew. The little ruffian. I'm calling Tiger Ruffian. I most certainly am. Well, that's better than being a sissy, I guess. <laughs> Are you calling Maryhew a sissy? I sure am. If you weren't wearing that deputy sheriff's badge, I'd punch you. If you were wearing those glasses, I'd spread that nose all over your face. Oh, you would, would you? <laughs> I guess they'll never grow up. You know, I wouldn't have been surprised if it had been Tag and your little brother. Me either. What on earth do you suppose they were fighting about? Well, one of them could have been cheating at marbles. Well, I'd certainly like to know. Say, we could find out if y'all had come over to the house for dinner tonight. Lofty shot a whole lot of quail this morning. Why, we'd love to. <laughs> You're safe now. Quite a scrap you kids were having, till the old folks stole your thunder. Gosh, Mr. Lingard, we were just warming up, weren't we, Stinky? Yeah. What was it all about, politics? Oh, he thinks he's so smart because his brother's a banker. Everybody knows there's no more than $10,000 in the old bank. Oh, yeah? Well, if you want to know, there's $100,000 in it now. $100,000? You're stretching that a bit, aren't you, son? No, sir. I heard my brother tell off to Craig, and I saw the chest we brought it in. It's for development. Huh? Well, you can sure buy an awful lot of development for $100,000. What's development? Ha! Huh, don't know what development is. Well, if you're so smart, tell me. You got a horse. Yeah, and a good one, too. Well, if you get another horse, that's development. Development? Development? There isn't such a thing as devilment. It's development. That's a trouble with you, Tenderfeet. Nobody can understand you because you don't say everything that's in a word. Devilment, my foot. Now, let's go ride your horse. Okay, Sneaky. Morning, Miss Annie. Oh, hello, Wes. You going hunting? Yeah, I thought I'd try for some quail. I understand there's plenty of them out at the springs. Well, Lofty went out for daylight this morning. He says all you got to do is just put your gun up in the air and pull the trigger. Oh, hope my looks is good. <laughs> Incidentally, I understand you're a pretty good cook. If I do get any quail, maybe I'll ask you to broil some for me. Oh, I'd be glad to. <laughs> Hi. You 
you want him? Yes. Plus a lot of talk from Phil Colby. Tag! You know that man can talk your right arm off when he's selling you a spool of thread? <laughs> Put these in the other room, will you, honey? Sure. Where Blengard dropped these shells when I was talking to him today? I didn't know he cared enough about hunting to reload his own ammunition. Well, these reloads? Mm-hmm. Just put them in the desk and we'll give them back to him later. Mm -hmm. Hello, Steve. Thought you were going to steer clear of us for a while. I wasn't followed, if that's what you're worried about. Besides, this is important. Money, maybe? Hmm. It's the haul you boys missed on that stagecoach. A hundred thousand dollars. That much, huh? Well, we did the best we could. What do you want us to do now? Take the bank? No. No, that's too risky. There's another way to get that money, Steve. And more, without sticking our necks out. I'm listening. Did you ever sold a mine? Several times in several ways. Then you probably know the best method is to shoot the mine workings full of grain gold and small nuggets. Yeah, that's the best way. Takes a little while to figure out if a mine has been tampered with. Mm -hmm. There's your ammunition. I pulled the shot from these and filled them with nugget gold. It's all been assayed, so I know it's high grade. Well, all we need now is a mine. I've got that too. The old Taylor mine. Yeah, I know those diggings. They're plum worthless. How'd you get hold of it? Jim Taylor lost it to me in a poker game about a year ago, just before he died. You got all the rights? I sure had. All legal. Now, let's see if I'm keeping up with you. You want me to get the boys and go over to the old Taylor mine and salt it. And then you're going to sell it to the bank in Diablo? I'm going to sell it to the tenderfoot who's running the bank in Diablo. Lodge it. Yeah. How long will it take you to do the job? Oh, I don't know. When the boys get back with the horses, we should be able to get out there in a couple of hours. Perfect. I'll go back to town and start working on our tenderfoot banker. I can hardly believe it. These samples are almost pure gold. It is amazing, isn't it? And you say you've owned this mine nearly a year? That's right. Of course, I haven't said much about my puttering around out there. I fear people would laugh at me. Incidentally, Mr. Blodgett, since you're new to the area, I feel I should caution you against mentioning this to anyone. We don't want a gold stampede. Oh, most certainly not. Well, I've really enjoyed meeting you, sir. I hope maybe you can come in on this once I get my basic financing. Oh, but I don't understand, Mr. Lingard. Uh, I thought you came here for that. Oh, no, no, I... I'm sorry, but I'm afraid the Diablo Bank wouldn't be strong enough. You see, I'll need a quarter of a million dollars over the period of the next six months. I'll need 100000 in cash almost immediately. Hmm. This isn't the old Diablo Bank, Mr. Lingard. Through our Eastern connections, we can supply you with all the funds you need. Really? Well, it's nice to know the bank's in such sound condition. Naturally, if it could be arranged, uh, I would like to see the local people share in my good fortune. Oh, but of course, of course. Now, don't you worry about your financing. We'll take care of all that. Oh, wonderful. Uh, in that case, I suggest you keep these samples. And maybe tomorrow morning, you and I can ride out to the mine. Let you see it for yourself. Splendid. Any time you say. Nine o'clock, all right? Fine. Meet you at the bank. Mr. Blodgett?
brought you the empty shells. Figured you'd know the best way to get rid of them. Did you get them all? Sure. What's the matter? Nothing. All right. I'll head back to town by way of the springs. Scatter these around like I've been shooting quail. I'll keep you boys posted. Okay. Yeah. Did you pick up those last two shells I fired over at the mine? No, I thought you did. Well, then we gotta go get them. Why, are they that important? Murder's pretty important, Sam. Come on. I found Pop and his burrow out in Dark Canyon. The burrow had been shot, too. There's plenty of sign. Will you tell your uncle? I can't. The sheriff's in Tucson on business, and Lofty Craig just left to serve a warrant. I'll have to go myself. Oh, would you take Pop's body over to Doc Baker's, please? Oh, sure, sure, Miss Annie. Tag, you stay here and watch things. Like fish, I will. I'm going with you. Well, then there won't be anybody here. No, give the office a rest. Maybe officers like a rest. But I want you to stay here. And I want to go with you. Oh, Tag, why won't you ever do what I want you to do? Because you never want me to do what I want to do. The trail's plain from where we found the dead burrow tag. There were two horses with him. It leads this way. Easy, Tag. We're looking for evidence. Maybe that's some there. There was a heel off of one of Pop Wade's boots. Freshly torn off, too. He had marked on it. Hey, Tag, you're improving. Well, those tracks, it looks like he was dragged out of the mine over to his burrow. That means he must have been killed inside. Just circle around slowly, Tag, and then work your way toward the center. All right. What are we looking for? Well, I'm looking for... I'm looking for these. Are they what killed Pop Annie? I think so, Tag, and I think I know who they belong to. Who's the murderer, Annie? Huh? Tell me who the murderer is. Tag, I'm trying to put things together. Well, put them together out loud, will you, Annie? Later. I've got to get back to town. Can't see him. They're there, they gotta be. Just keep throwing lead. It's just a matter of time before we can go down and get them. Hey, Annie, come on over here, quick. Look. We can get out of here if you're not too fat. If anybody ever rings your neck, boy, it's gonna be me. Come on.
Yeah, we follow him all right, but not right now. It ought to be sundown in about an hour. You get back to the cabin and get Bill. After dark, meet me in the cottonwood grove outside Diablo. Ain't that dangerous? Yeah, but we're playing with murder, and that's dangerous, too. Okay, Stinky McGee, get in there. You can't do this to me. I know my right. Get in there. I don't understand the meaning of all this, but I do know I don't intend to stay here any longer. You got it, Annie. Looks like your waiting's over, Will. This is Doc Baker's report of an autopsy performed on the body of Pop Wade. He was murdered today at Taylor's Mine. Pop was killed by one of the most expensive bullets ever fired. He was shot by a double blast of shotgun shells, and the shells were loaded with pure nugget gold. Incredible. You dropped these today when I was talking to you, Webb. And they matched these. And these two unfired shells were reloaded with gold nuggets. Why would anybody want to load a shotgun shell with gold nuggets? Usually to salt a mine, Mr. Blodgett. Oh? What have you to tell us, Lofty? Well, after you came over here, Lingard, I went to your office and got your shotgun. You dared to do that? Peace officer trying to solve a murder dares do a lot of things. I took your gun over to the assay office and had him run a simple test on the barrels. You know, you've got a mighty valuable gun there. The barrels are practically lined with gold. Well, that still doesn't prove I had anything that to... don't prove nothing, Webb. Come on in, boys. Got a horse waiting for you outside. Head west. We'll catch up with you just as soon as we take care of these people. That's what you were trying to sell me, a salted mine. And if Sneaky's still looking for a devil, man, we've got all kinds of around here. Huh, Sneaky? You bet, Tag. 